Why do we say to fall in love? Is it something unwished for? I was exploring the phrases for to fall in love in some other languages. And I came out with the result, only English describes the state of starting to feel love for someone as falling. I wonder why this idiom is that way. Only logical explanation came to me is, falling in love is something unwished for, undesirable or unplanned. I'd appreciate if you can share your own thoughts about the idiom, or help me to deepen my research. To fall is something involuntary, outside of our control, not necessarily unwished, but hardly something you can plan. The expression fall in love as in being overwhelmed by love has been with us for a long time, and occurs e.g. in Edmund Spencer's epic poem The Fairy Queen, published in the 1590s. Both Scudamore and Arthur Goldo fight with Britomar sees her face, doth fall in love and soon for her depart, subtitle to Book 4, Kant 6, Modernized Spelling. And also, but it in shape and bowtie did excel all other idols, which the heathen adore for a passing that, which by surpassing skill Phidias did make in Papo's Isle of Yore, with which that wretched Greek, that life fall or did fall in loo, yet this much fairer shined, but cowered with a slender veil afore, and both her feet and legs together twined were with a snake, whose head and amp, tail were fast co-bind. Book 4, Can X, Modernized Spelling. English language shed most of its prefixes, affixes, conjugations, declensions, and stuff a long time ago and has to get by using word combinations and phrasal verbs. It seems to use, fall, to mark the incompleteness of volition. I believe other languages use other means to the same end. Compare with Russian, and, that is Voljubites ja, to fall in love, and Poljubit, to come to love smn slash smnth. Same root, but different prefixes and suffixes, used with a purpose. In the first case, the language resorts to the prefix v, into, inside, next comes the root guljub, compare with German liebe, ending with suffixes and an ending, dissecting which is a headache. Of note is the reflexive particle sja, to myself, kith and kin of the English self, same letter s. Adding this originally meant doing to oneself the action that the verb is conveying, but depending on the presence of other elements came to mean a lot of things, like, to a full extent, the whole of myself. This V plus SJA, the thrust and completeness to oneself, combination provides the emphatic and involuntary feel similar to fall in love, to such a degree that a bevy of makeshift analogies were penned, like Vtreska test JA, Tura test JA, Vejuha test JA, with over verbs, mostly nonce words, spatchcocked between V and SJA, with the same overall result, to fall in love. Paul Jubit, to come to love someone or something, on the other hand, uses the prefix pa. Here it means, to initiate something. One may initiate something voluntarily or otherwise, but without SJA, it just falls short of conveying the fall in love sentiment. So, when one seeks to explain to a third person why he came to love that girl, citing her virtues, he will often or opt for pojubit, and when one wants to say something like, don't know why, but I just fell in love with her, he will tend to use vuljubit SJA. Moreover, when one is using vuljubit SJA, one has to use the preposition v, towards, in the direction, inside. Just like with, falling in love. Only you place it before the person with whom you fell in love with, ja vuljubile sja v anu, I fell in love towards, inside Anna. Compare, ja vrzauscja v stenu, I drove into a wall. Same v plus sja, same v, same fatalistic feel, hopefully not the same final result, though. To top it all, one may say, vlubites ja pa ushi, that is, to fall in love up to one's ears. The same falling drowning involuntary feel, because one also may be paashi. In debt, say. This is a vertically oriented version of the love is out of control metaphor theme. To quote from the article. When one talks about being enchanted by, falling in love with, or being crazy about somebody, one is using metaphor themes, respectively, love is magic, love is out of control, and love is madness, a subtype of love is out of control, to talk about humanity's favorite mystery. Less heady forms of love, such as long-term relationships, use themes like love as a journey, at a crossroads, a dead-end relationship, not going anywhere, on the rocks, and Freud's famous railroad-slash-tunnel symbols.
In another perspective, the way love is derived from, it has more to do with affection, desire, caring, libido. In Spanish amor from Latin, and Latin amor from Proto-Indo-European asterisk ama the first baby words for mother, and then from Latin amare a caressing mother. To fall in love is different than an amorars, because to love is immature compared to the meaning of amor that has more to do with unconditional nurturing, caressing of mutual joy. If love doesn't grow into amor it will be fleeting, a lovely passerby. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.